Hey guys, so I want to just do a quick a little video here. I do have my brand new Galaxy S4 Active and I'm going to compare it here a little bit with Android 4.2.2 uh, versus Apple's iPhone 5 here. Uh, my white iPhone having the latest iOS 7 Beta 2 uh, which has some, a bunch of new features that I've been going over in other videos. Um, so to start off here, if you're new to this video, uh, this is a new Galaxy S4 smartphone called the Galaxy S4 Active. Uh, what is different uh, with this one compared to Galaxy S4, you might ask? Uh, well, the first thing is that the camera is only coming with an 8 megapixel, or it's an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, let's see here, it's a little bit dirty. So... What? Okay, that was a funny glitch. <laughs> I haven't even opened up the game. Uh, let's see if I can clean off the lens here as well. So, of course, it could be a little bit dirty sometimes. <laughs> I'm not sure why, though. Uh, so, you can see it now when it's cleaned off. It is an 8 megapixel camera only compared to the Galaxy S4's 30 megapixel camera, but it has a cool new aqua mode uh, appropriate for taking underwater pictures that I will be taking a look at because. Uh, that's the other thing about this phone that it is water and dust proof or dust resistant uh, So it will be able to take that stuff uh, which is extremely cool uh, Also one thing that's different with this device compared to the S4 of course is that this boy has a TFT display on top But not now we will be compiling these two smartphones so, uh, Speaking here about iOS 7 of course iOS 7 uh, the latest beta here with voice memo, so of course iOS 7 has a total new interface. Uh, voice memo is back in the second beta where you can record sound and um, it's just like in iOS 6 I'm pretty sure, uh, even though I've never used it in iOS 6. Uh, recording paused. Yeah, I know. Done. Okay, hit done. There we go, we can play it. And of course we can share it, we can delete it, we can do all those things. iOS 7 overall has a brand new interface, of course. Uh, some awesome new updates in beta 2, new icon in there. Uh, overall speed uh, speed improvements uh, when we go to the search widget. And should also be a little bit more transparent uh, here uh, that you probably can see. Uh, we also have some other things, of course, uh, like a keyboard and folders should have better transparency here in the background. And uh, we, of course, we don't have this problem with uh, Android because Android has a freedom where you can have any keyboard and customize the interface however you like. Photo streams should also upload screenshots, I'm pretty sure. Uh, iCloud is back with Find My iPhone, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't available in the first update. Uh, so when you go down here, I'll call Find My iPhone feature in iCloud. So iCloud, of course, can back up all of your data, which is pretty, pretty useful and awesome. But Find My iPhone, probably the best feature if you lose your iPhone, if you are drunk. Uh, and then, of course, there's also a bunch of other uh, revamped reminders app, new button in weather, new clock icon, and also group, when you talk, you know, I said like group talk, you can now see avatars. Uh, not like the movie avatar though, but it's pretty cute. Cool. Uh, so if you take a look at these phones, of course, um, uh, they are a little bit different here in terms of uh, both, of course, updated to the latest operating system, both are high-end smartphones. Uh, the thing here with Active, of course, is that we can have widgets just as on the S4. It's basically the same kind of widgets that we can have, Samsung's own widget here. Uh, you have a cool widget here, like an S Memo widget, even though you don't get, of course, an S Pen with this device. You can also see that it's a little bit more protected here on the front side because, of course, this will be a phone that you will can be a little bit nasty with. Uh, but it has Gorilla Glass 2 versus uh, S4 that has Gorilla Glass 3, which I find pretty weird why they didn't put on uh, better protection there. Um, because this should be a little bit more of a, a proof uh, secure phone. Uh, what's also pretty cool about this phone is that it has uh, opening here for the headphone jack, but it's still waterproof uh, from my understanding. And also, of course, you can take off the back also 
uh, and uh, insert uh, a, another battery or you probably shouldn't do that but you can replace the battery and also insert an SD card on, on the back and I, I like this kind of rubber feel compared to the S4 I think it looks a little bit more badass it's also a little bit thicker of course um, so uh, so the first thing here, of course, is that you can have widgets here on the Galaxy S4 Active. I think it makes the phone feel pretty cool, uh, that you can customize the interface more. Uh, it's a little bit more cool. Uh, there could be w widgets with things going on on the screen, uh, which is pretty nice, where Apple still use widgets, 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 widgets. And uh, even though Apple have made some pretty cool updates here with the control center in iOS 7, so you finally get some uh, toggles up here and you get a brightness slider over here music player some quick access to some apps and uh, It kind of works the same as with Android of course when you swipe down like this You don't get all of the uh, Galaxy S4 features in the Galaxy S4 Active uh, Like air pause and air view and all those things uh, scroll with your hand and stuff You don't get that in S4 Active uh, But you get a few you get a few options here at least but I would love to see more in the upcoming updates like Android 4.3 or something uh, so uh, that could be worth mentioning and also you can see here when you go down on the iPhone uh, they have a focus here on the calendar and when you go from the bottom uh, you do get this little control center uh, here they focus on the calendar and also an all section uh, with everything that's going on and stuff that you have missed a very very cool background here that you can see through uh, where here it's a little uh, over here it's a little bit more boring and also if we go into the settings area, it looks a little bit boring here compared to Apple's. Uh, for some reason, look at these buttons. I, I find the UI look a little bit outdated here. Uh, but definitely like when you're on home screens, that look updated and everything, cool apps and cool widgets. Uh, but when we compare it to Apple's, a little bit more clean interface. Uh, I would say that uh, definitely that something could work a little bit more of that. Just, uh, making those menus look a little bit more cool, maybe have a transparent background that Apple, uh, same as Apple have made uh, with their phone. Uh, if you take a look here also at the lock screen, you can see that here, uh, we can have lock screen widgets on the uh, Galaxy S4 Active so you can quickly launch the camera or other things. You can also have four screen, uh, uh, like four or five apps that you can quickly go to. Uh, where, uh, but if you do have the iPhone 5, you do have quick access to the camera, which is good, uh, but you don't get any more options over there uh, than they used to have. Yeah, you can also access the control uh, center or control center, I think it's been called that, uh, down here. Uh, on the lock screen, you can also disable that if you don't want that, and then you just quickly unlock the device like this. Of course, uh, I would love to go over all of the apps in one single video here, but this is a quick more of a UI look video if you want a more like comparison in terms of browser Samsung has their own browser over here the internet browser uh, and then Safari of course or Apple has their own Safari browser uh, Definitely I can take a look at that and make more in-depth videos about that, but uh, Definitely probably one of the biggest feature or difference here is that uh, widgets 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 I would love to see that on an iPhone uh, so also if we hold in here uh, check out the multitasking area. It's kind of the same here on both. Uh, Apple made some very, very nice updates compared to earlier version of uh, iOS that uh, instead of just having those small, uh, small, uh, small little uh, apps down here uh, to close uh, that it was in iOS 6, they made a little bit more focus here in the middle and you can swipe to remove apps and you can also see a quick preview of the app which is pretty nice not just the logo uh, so it's the same as uh, android has been having now for some time uh, one cool thing here definitely with android is that uh, first i get a shortcut here to uh, seeing some other stuff like downloaded apps ram and clear default which looks a little bit different i'm pretty sure uh, compared compared to other phones. Also what I did notice with the uh, with the Galaxy S4 Active is it seems to have a lot more storage than the Galaxy S4, uh, which is pretty nice, uh, just, just coming from the stock over there. Uh, also another cool feature here in the multitasking area is that we just with one tap here, you can close all of the current uh, open up apps, which is extremely nice to have a feature like that, and uh, definitely a useful little feature. Uh, 
and of course both here are 8 megapixel cameras and I might be taking a look at that in another video if you are interested in that and also benchmarking browser and gaming uh, you know just comparing it against Apple's latest iOS uh, you do have of course live wallpapers on both uh, and the funny thing is that it seems like Apple is like almost copying Android or something here uh, it's pretty funny I don't care that much but uh, if we go back you just go back here <laughs> and go to set wallpaper let's go to home screen uh, when we go to live wallpapers on both devices uh, we do get on both like two Apple call them dynamic wallpapers but it's like basically the same as uh, uh, Android's live wallpapers uh, both have kind of two bubble wallpapers, live wallpapers, which I, I find pretty funny that both have two and both are like bubbles moving around. <laughs> I don't really get that thing. I think that the Nexus, the Galaxy Nexus from last year was the first one with that, but uh, I can't tell for show. Uh, and of course, it's very, very easy to uh, customize your Android device more here uh, with uh, more live wallpapers backgrounds and everything just very very easy uh, from the play store to use to pick that up if you would like uh, and of course you also have your normal static wallpapers uh, that uh, may not be that interesting let's go home screen so apple column stills there we go, you can see we do have some new wallpapers here in the uh, iOS 7 beta too. Uh, just a few new up there at the top. In the S4 Active compared to the Galaxy S4, we do have this blue one over here. And also I think this one is new, this one could also be new. Uh, this one I think I've seen before, and this, that one I've also seen before in, uh, in Samsung's update. Uh, so, um, of course also you do get voice assistant, Apple has some of their own apps. Uh, so tell me if you want to see a specific app of course with Android we do have first Google now so what is 2 plus 2? the answer is 4 so you can use either Google now or Samsung's own uh, assistant uh, called S Voice uh, which uh, uh, is pretty cute cool, uh, but it's not, a, not as good as Siri from my experience in, especially not in terms of speed what is 2 plus 2? Checking. The answer is four. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> so, um, Siri is really, really quick here. You can see also very, very nice transparency here. They're using Wolfram Alpha to get data. Uh, if you do use Samsung's own S Voice, you can kind of do the same thing, set the alarm, uh, ask time, you can miss the awesome anything. What is two plus two? So a little bit slowish here, and it's also using word from Alpha here, but you have to click on a button called More, uh, and then you get it a little bit too big here. Uh, but but you, you get the information, and you can definitely uh, experiment with it a lot more. Uh, but overall, I would say Siri looks a little bit more clean in terms of its UI. Also, it seems to be responding quicker. But definitely on Android, you should probably just use Google Now extremely good speeds and stuff. Uh, so uh, quickly a video here. Uh, and as I said, please tell me if you want to see any specific thing in a video comparing these two devices, the browser, uh, music, gaming, or anything. Uh, let me know, GPS, who knows what you want to see. Uh, but this is a quick little UI look here. Hopefully you enjoy.